What's up? Wagwan. Wow. What's up? How's Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hub Show. How you doing? Hey. Hey. It's your girl Shirley here reporting from the two five followed by the four. I haven't done that in so long. Hey, you haven't, man. Bring it back, man. <laughs> like a Thursday. Pony play, understand. Hey, Shirley okay. Hero. Brought jacuzzi, the hey. Coco Monster, the Pretty Ross. Mr. Let me tell you something. I do this every time, but uh, we're going to do it once more time. Mr. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Welcome hey. to the Hump Show. Who? I swear, I always forget to get my speech together. What's up? This is Ruby. What's good? What's going on? Ruby, you're not. It's so boring. Yeah. We need to work on this intro, you know. You guys, like, we it. will. I'm Mr. Shiny Hat, Bald Head, the <laughs> Keep going, keep going. <laughs> that sounded like bars. What? <laughs> what? I missed the shiny head. Get her in the long <laughs> way. <laughs> Hey, we got DJ Wobber, Mr. Oh Shiny Head in the building once again. Wait, Wobber, man, it's good to see you on the ones and twos, man. We be missing you, man. I yes, know. for what, sure. What, you got kids now or something, man? What you got? What happened to you this year, man? Yeah, there's a bun in the oven, so. There's a bun in the oh, oven. We yeah. can Congratulations. Tell. We can tell. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bun in the oven. Mm. Man, you said it yourself, man. Hey, you like it's your buns bun. buttered or non-buttered? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's a real question. All right, I like it. Hey, Wobba, you, you know your buns, man. You know your buns. Come on, let me know. Oh my goodness. Let me know, man. Oh my God, let's get into it. Shout out our good fam, my brother, Jacuzzi. Hey, let's shout out. Let's shout out the good people, man. You know the people that watch the show. You know the ones that be hitting us up on Twitter, yes. Instagram, social yes. media platforms. Yes. Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. Bundles. Boom. <laughs> I mean, it's, the list goes on and on. But let's, let's get to it. Big up to Banda Musa. Banda Musa. Hey, I see you. That was a nice little, you know, freestyle <laughs> Your right is there. Your song, Banda. Banda Musa. Banda, Banda. Wagwan Musa. What's Jack good? Onyango Wagwan, my brother. How you doing? Hey. Jiggity, jiggity, Jack. Jack. And Barrow Onyana. Mm -hmm. on, on, ya, on your, on Yona. Oh, wow. Anyo, on, anyona. Do you need some help I, with that? Anyona. Read, tell oh me what I, I'm saying it. Anyona. <laughs> Barrel Anyona. Okay. Shout out to you, fifth girl. Time, What's fifth, good, Barrel? Fifth time the charm. <laughs> Mark Rimiki Wagwan, brother. Mark Rimiki. Rimiki. You're my Rafiki. Get it? And you get the last one. Mark Shiro. Rimiki. You're my Rafiki. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, that was the, hey, the most amazing. terrible line. Uh, well, stop. That was, you're my Rafiki. <laughs> Let's, Ole let's key. trap music rubbing off on you. Liara. Oleki, Liara, Oleki. Oleki. What's up? What's up? Shut what's up? up. Yeah, let's let's make a rhyme with can't. that one. Make a rhyme with that one. <laughs> Oleki, Liara, Sarah, you are... <laughs> 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 oh my god, thank you guys so much for following, liking, and subscribing to us. Yes. If you want to join the Good Fam, all you gotta do is hit us up on Facebook, What's Good Live, Twitter, What's Good underscore live, mm -hmm. Instagram, WGLive.tv. And while you're there, check out the motherboard of all good things coming in and out of East Africa music, style, sports, swag, you know, things. We got you yeah. on WGNetworks.tv. That's What's Good Networks on Facebook and Instagram, and at What's Good Net on Twitter. Twitter. All right. Ah, my man. All right. Hey, so let's get to it, man. What had happened was, how was your weekend, Shiro? My weekend was good. My weekend was spent in Nyeri, party in the wild. All right. Mm. Sounds lit. familiar. How do you feel? I was there with you. Uh, yes. I did party in the wild. It was lit. And I felt it this week. It was I really felt the <laughs> aftermath of what it is to go out there man, and party we for three days straight. Camping. We were just camping. Yeah. But it, it was raining, but it was it good, was lit. man. It was lit. It live. was lit. The music was great. Shout out to G Money who mm -hmm. shut it Bad, down. Frasier. Frasier. Oh my VZ, gosh. Yes. I mean, D D DJ Luther. You know, MC Point Blank. Yes, incredible. Man. It was, it was nice. incredible. Nice. Yes. And also, shout out to the Shisha guys because that Shisha. Shout out to the. Um, what's the name Man, uh, distant shisha uh, we were a little you know it was after hours yes yes shout out to rashi Dude, these guys make mm -hmm. literally it's the best shisha i've ever tasted in my life the it's best. literally orange and mint the one that they were having mm -hmm. was just foggy big like yeah, you hey, never oops. guessed if the shisha you know I mean? was foggy, was, but it was. It was, it was, it was foggy. Good. Yes, it was foggy. It was lit. Yeah. And uh, if you guys want to check out what happened at Party in the Wild, there is an after movie coming out. And we mm -hmm. have pictures and photos all on our website. Yes. So make sure to check that out. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash. What's good life? Yep. Now, <laughs> click that red button that says subscribe. It's, it's free now, now, man. And it's red, so yes. click it. Now, what had happened was, mm -hmm. this is a, a special story that it's, uh, it's about love. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about a former FBI interpreter named Daniela Green, who reportedly ran away to marry an ISIS terror leader before releasing her mistake and coming back to the U.S. to turn herself in. 
What? Yes, so she was an FBI agent and okay. she was sent there to like, you know, work undercover and interpret for like ISIS or whatever the case or what have you. And mm -hmm. she ran it she she met this uh this guy named a uh, German nationalist named Dennis Kaspert who used to rap he used to be a rapper back in um um back in uh, Germany mm -hmm. but then uh, he had got like into some freak accident where he was bombed by US like I don't know if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time but he kind of went crazy and he went back and he moved to Syria and changed his name to Abu Tala Ala Almani <laughs> <laughs> in okay. Syria, so uh, he switched up the script, and she met, you know, the now Abu Talha la ala Almani in Syria, and I guess he put the mat on her, and she lied to the FBI, which was her bosses oh at the time, gosh. and she secretly got married to him. So love is real, man. So Wait, I want to ask she, you: Was she an underground what? agent? She was an underground yeah, agent for her husband, huh? For her husband in the terrorist group. No, she well for the FBI. Was she a double agent? Yes, she, that's the one. No, no, no. She oh. was an FBI agent, American citizen, yada yada. Worked for the FBI. She was even married. Mm. She had a that's she had a husband. What? And she Must snuck off. That D. Yeah, that D was a guy. That's, that's, right. Right. <laughs> that's when you can say it was the bomb. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh Give me something. God. Give me something. Show me something. So, I want to ask you guys, man. Do y'all, do y'all, like, is love that serious, man? Because I got a cousin who's getting, who, who says he's getting married. And the lady he's one that wants to marry is like 20 times older than him. And I'm like, what, what's wrong with you? But he's like, I'm in love. So, I'm, you know, and that's love. recently. So, okay. that's something close to home. And now when I read this, I'm like, wow, is this, is this love thing for real like this? You know, um, she was in the I mean, FBI. Dude. But National security. Man. Does that, does that say something though? I feel like she was in the FBI. That means that she was trained to defend the USA. Yeah. But that also means that she was uh, available to a lot of information about what was going on between this war. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. So maybe something like did she know? Does she know that he is working? Of course. For? Okay, she, yeah, yeah. So maybe she like maybe things aren't what they seem. I mean, I love Conspiracy is real. theories. Love, love is real. Love is real. Yeah, but Would then you marry it's never that serious. If, if you meet some, no, if you meet, meet, no. me, you meet some guy from Al Bob, he's laying it on you. <laughs> yam, yam, yam. I mean, you know. You gonna just turn on your country? On your nation? <laughs> on your people? For love? What's this, man? Danielle I Green. Mean, I, that's I mean, crazy. What do you think? Is it that serious? I think, I think girls are dumb. I think this is terrible. I think she's putting out a bad message for her species, for her, for her race, for her for gender. Her species. Yeah, I was like, what race. is it? I was like, oh, gender. Here it is. <laughs> I, I, I was like, race. Spe no, no, <laughs> gender. But I honestly think this is this is crazy. Like, how? How can you? You know what I'm saying? You're you work yeah. for the FBI. Yeah. Man, but, but maybe for know. her it was just a job, you know? Maybe she's like, maybe, yeah, the maybe, love of my exactly. life. Maybe like, it was we're just... going to move back to wherever they're, he is now from. Yeah. And, like, he, she, you know, I, she's... I, I find it odd. You know, I, find yeah. it, I, find yeah. it, I find it very crazy. And was, was her position in the FBI high? I mean, she was a translator, and uh, she was sent over yeah, there. So who gives a fuck? <laughs> she's she a translator. Was, I mean, hey, go, go ahead and no, find, this, find this love is, then, boo. This is go sensitive ahead. information <laughs> that pertains to your country, man. Yo. Go ahead. Find love then. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go ahead and get with, go ahead and get with a uh, Tal Abu Tal Halal Al Mani. Get with him. Deal. Oh my God. So uh, that's uh, that's what happened anyways, over there in Syria. Yeah. On the other side of the world, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, uh, in the UK, Stormzy has released. Uh, he's going to do a festival, hashtag Murky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's happening in Ibiza on July 11th. Mm -hmm. And he said he's going to showcase like the top UK artists who are going to be headlining the event. They haven't released any tickets, like any ticket prices or who's on the lineup, but that sounds lit. Sounds interesting indeed. It does. Shout out to Stormzy and Murphy. Oh my gosh, wait, but did you guys hear about this fire festival? Ja Rule. Oh. oh my gosh, I was going to bring it up, but I was like, nah, let's just let Ja Rule pass. Okay, so for those who don't know, there was a festival oh. that was supposed to happen in the Bahamas uh, called the Fire Festival, F-Y-R-E Festival, yeah. and it was headlined, well not headlined, but it was uh, organized by Ja Rule and some other guy. Yeah, Billy McFarlane. Yeah. yeah, so long story short, it was for A-list type, you know, people, you know, people with a lot of money. Yeah. 
Yeah. And tickets were ranging from uh, $1,000 to $12,000. And they were supposed to be included with, you know, accommodations, gourmet dinners, mm. you know. Just, Gordon Ramsay was supposed to cook your dinner. Five You're stars. You're supposed to have a beautiful cabana waiting for you upon arrival. Everything. You can get on a yacht and go jet skiing off the yacht Y'all while talking to Kendall. To, like, it didn't happen. Listen, Bruh. listen. Talking to Kendall Jenner and, you Bruh. know, whomever. And you're, yeah. you, you're, you're part of the A-list. Yeah. Mm. It was but an then, experience. So they get there and it's literally like uh, a construction site. Literally. There's right. like refugee tents. That's their rooms. The food is like literally... 20, 20 times worse than any Dude. food you've had in Kenya, bro. Two, oh, not even that. Like bad in jail, restaurant. you get two yeah. pieces of bread with a slab. It was of jail cheese. food. It was it was you international jail what? food. Jail anywhere. Dude, what? It was terrible. What? They weren't even they weren't even double slabbing it. It was a single slab. It was terrible. And it then was people terrible. got yes. people got um, because now terrible. because this entire situation ha- was happening, everyone was like, "Fuck this, I'm out." I'm out. So they were trying to like get out, but then security was being crazy, and apparently they were like stealing stuff. What? Someone heard gunshots. Somebody saw wolves. It, it was like, terrible. dude, like completely mishandled, poorly organized. Whoa. And the website, if you go to firefyrefestivals.com, it gives like now the homepage is like. A, a press release on like what happened and they're blaming it on the weather that's not the weather what wow it was it's it was the organization it was, it was atrocious it was and atrocious they were like so we're gonna refund everyone's tickets and then postpone the festival to next year and work with better organizers is what mm-hmm. they're trying to say but man jaru i get it i i get the vision i get the vision good vision too expensive tickets like take that all the way down i mean i think i think I think was, if, if there's a market for the price range that he had up, that's great. He was it seemed like there was people that bought the tickets. Yeah, but uh, what he messed he up was on was expecting thirty thousand people to come to this thing. Word. He was expecting. This is his first time doing this. Yeah, thirty thousand people. Glastonbury Festival has taken twenty years to become what it is. Mm. You cannot just come out of the gate, mm-hmm. put money together. And just decide to throw this thing. It takes so it takes long. a lot. It takes a lot. Like literally, it takes so much. Yeah. So, but man, Jaru, I got, I got the vision. I did. I saw what he was trying to do. He was trying to make like the Nefertiti, you know, like he was this, too ambitious. Yeah, like this yeah. island of like cool celebrities and yeah. you know everything is like Kim Kardashian lifestyle. And maybe he was desperate for a comeback, so he was yeah. like, I mean, this who knows? Is and it. You know what? Yeah, I give like, Jaru back props in the game. for thinking outside the box of how to like jump come back, back in the game. Uh, that's a, you know. Yeah. Trying to throw a festival, cool. Yeah. You know, good yeah. for you. That's really thinking outside the box. But yeah. damn, son. You took an L, buddy. So now he's being sued $100 million. What? Jaru yeah. is worth $8 million. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. <laughs> You took it down. Hey, man. Sending so, you positive energy. Sending you positive energy, Ja Rule. And speaking of positive energy, mm-hmm. let's get into this uh, transition video that we like to call it here. Yes. Uh, We're going to see Y Ray. He's the brand ambassador of IDN Peace Concert mm-hmm. and Integrated Development Network. And it's uh, all about, you know, bringing peace because we have coming elections happening. And that's all we want. Even that's what Party in the Wild was about is about peace. It's yes, untried. untried. Everyone's yes. just, yes. you know, being themselves and nothing more than uh, than love and, and prosperity. And that's what Y Ray is pushing and I'm, I'm glad. So check it out right now. We're going to show a little bit of what happened when he was here at the Good House and pushing his IDN Peace concert. This is Y Ray. This is the Hump Show. Keep it locked. Coming up, we have Butch Norman, by the way. love Child Wagwan. Everything good, brother. Yeah, man. What's good? Yeah. It's been a long time coming. No, I'm scared to move. I'm not too scared, but finally, I'm glad to be here. How are you feeling, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed. Yeah. Yo, for the new school, you know, this is a legend right now in the building. And definitely, <laughs> let's try to get to that status. Yeah, but definitely, you know, when a big artist steps in the good house, many people are wondering, is it music? Yeah. Well, what, what would bring Wire to the good house? Yo, yo, we're... we're um, I'm spreading the word of peace. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, Elections uh, are here, my brother. Yeah, yeah. But it's not even about that. It should be, a peace should be part of our lives and mm-hmm. our lifestyle. You yeah. know what I mean? I joined forces with the IDN, mm-hmm. uh, Integrated Development Network. Yeah. They approached me and uh, they, they, um, they tell me what they're working on. They're working on a peace initiative yeah. and trying to see what we can do to spread the word of peace, you know, amongst, amongst the youth. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, you know what, you'll count me in because... Um, a few years ago, yeah. uh, uh, after the uh, two, two, uh, 207 election mm-hmm. incident, um, I, I hit studio and I recorded a song called uh, Uprising. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I basically did not like 
what I saw on yeah. the ground. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I felt like the youth were being misused for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? They were the ones running the streets, yeah. and burning houses, and, and you know, causing chaos. Yeah. And I felt we were, we were, the youth were being used for the wrong reasons. Yeah. And uh, that's why I said, you know what? If I have anything to do with, let me let me let me let me put it put it on 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 on, on music, mm-hmm. and that's what came out. And our praising became one of my biggest songs ever because True. I, th- I felt that it, <laughs> I think it connected with the youth and what they were going through at the moment. Yeah. Oh, this 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 coming Sunday we're, uh, we're planning to be uh, to hold a huge concert at, at Babadogo. Yeah. Uh, big up Ken Raisi, big up Boss Mog, yeah. big up uh, uh, J Fam, uh, enough artists coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, big up Pizzo Diesel. Yeah, big up, big up. She's uh, doing big things at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Big up idea and for putting this together, yeah, this great initiative. Yeah. There's going to be a caravan going uh, around different estates, yeah. and you're going to see in the, in the social media and stuff. Yeah. Uh, or, 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 or you'll be updated on the route. Yeah. So for those guys who can make it to Babadogo, yeah. it's going to come to you to, to, to your hood. Yeah. For what if anyone watching, they're like, Yo, I want to come out this weekend. What should I expect? <laughs> Nothing short of fire, man. Yeah. The lineup, <laughs> the lineup of artists is yeah. crazy already. We want to challenge you to do. Don't tell me to freestyle, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We want to challenge you to do the Buzzle Kizo dance. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do I? Okay, let me... I'll try. Uh-huh. Like, oh, yeah? Stop like that. Uh-huh. When he came through to talk to the events Kahuna, shout out to yes, Vincent for making that uh, happen here at the Good House. The yeah. events Kahuns. Right now we have uh, one of Nairobi's most booked DJs. I mean, I see you everywhere, Butch Norman. And Matt, might I add your hair? It's it's really fleeky, man. I'm digging the curls, man. More yeah. curls for the girls. Thanks, we thanks, got thanks, Butch Norman in the building. Yeah, what's, good, what's good? What's good? What's good? Just right off the top, how long does it take you to do your hair if you do your hair? Give us the breakdown. Uh, what happens in there? So this is how it goes down. Like, <laughs> my hair is done by my girlfriend. Uh-huh. Yeah. So she does like, I just tell her like I'm going somewhere. I just need my hair done this and this way. Nice. Yeah, she just does it for me. So for, just, cause, you know, I, I, sometimes I see you. You'll have like straight hair. Sometimes I see you may have it in a bun. You know, today you got this uh, like Bruno Mars kind of yeah, curly, yeah, yeah, like the pop yeah, yeah, yeah. type of nice. style. You know. What did yeah. What did you do? What I did just, you do? I just twisted it with some gel and some bantu knots. Ah, oh, so the bantu like, knots. Up. Shout just out to like, like, yeah. okay, yeah. the yeah. bantu knots. Yeah. Nice. Dope, dope. Now, apart from you know your hairstyle, your DJing at a Thrift Social 11 Camo Edition yeah. this Sunday. How's it how's it feel, you know, being you know that you've been at I don't know how many thrift socials have you done? I think um I first started at the fourth one because I went to the thrift social three, it was a lot at the elephant. It was really nice. Mm. But I just I just really wanted to know who 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 does this event. And I was asking people around, hey, who's the owner of thrift social? So yeah, yo, this is Oliver. I'm like, yo, this is Oliver? Mm. He doesn't really look like he owns this event. Because mm. <laughs> he was, dre- I don't know, he was just like looking like a normal guy. Yeah, like he was so I told him, yo, I have an idea of this event. We can do this and this. I can share my idea and your idea. We can come up with something like really cool and stuff. He told me like, yeah, give me a number, we talk. And I told him, yeah, we can switch this game up. We can make people show people like nice. Nairobi Underground is like the top poppin'. of the, yeah, it's popping. It is, man. Yeah. Nairobi's popping, people. Yeah. Nairobi's very popping. It is, it is, it is. We were just talking about that, right? Uh, about the many events. Anyways, um, how did you get into the DJing game and how did you decide that, you know what, this is the thing that I'm going to do with my life? First, it started, I told my mom, she was like, Are you serious? You want to be a DJ? <laughs> yeah. Where are you going to get out of that? Yeah. I was like, 
it's a passion it's something i've been you know i always to look at a lot of people a lot of djs like martin garrix yes mm-hmm. joe i was like you know this guy is doing some cool shit i was like kitchen art i was like hey i need mm-hmm. to do this i need to come up with something like in the nairobi underground scene like someone's never done before people don't really go hard you know mm. you don't do things because mm. you you mm. you just do things maybe because someone tells you like you're doing because someone else is doing that mm. but you're not doing it because you're you mm. you have the passion for it so i had a passion for dj and i just nice. and my passion was for house music mostly mm. like right now and i'll start producing my own music and uh, i'm looking up really up to disclosure shout out to disclosure yes. yeah i love those guys a lot so that's how it all started then after i went to high school i went to homeboys radio mm-hmm. my mom just said shout you out. know what just do it yeah. i'll pay you just do it okay do well yeah just shout do it mom. you just yeah. do your thing just yeah. go out there show those people like you yeah. you can do your thing i was like she yeah probably like the music that you're listening to <laughs> yeah yeah she, she was like hey like there's some good music nice. okay. she's like nice. hey nice. Uh, people, do people jam to that i'm like yeah they do yeah. of course they do mm. yeah, i got mom people questions who jive. Like, mom yeah. questions <laughs> yeah has has she ever been to any of your uh your gigs has she ever caught you live she told me she'll come for the come audition okay but i told them doing and i told them doing a house in a trap she's like what's trap music i played for like a couple of songs like Are you really sure I can listen to such type of music? I'm like, that's what you're gonna hear when you're there. So yeah. maybe you just come and just for that 20 minutes and go home. It's like, okay, I'll see about it. Yeah, I'm like nice. okay. You've you've mentioned uh, bringing up the underground scene. Yeah, what exactly is it? Like, what's the underground scene like exactly? You see, mostly the underground music scene. We don't have people like, you know, I can only choose a selective of people who I can say like these people are doing like real shit. Mm-hmm. I can say like you guys. I can compare you guys with such. Guys, cuz mm. you doing your thing. Mm. You give us examples. Like let me talk about Roy and Ukweli. Yes. You see? Yes. Mm. I love those guys cuz they're them. Yes. They're unique. You yeah. never find yeah. someone yes. like them out there. Mm. Like in Kenya, if you hear him bro, hey, who's him bro? Yes. Mm. Underground Nairobi. Yeah. Mm. Tayo. I love what Tayo is doing. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Tayo. Yeah. Yeah. Dylan S. Yeah, underground yeah. music. It's mm-hmm. just so great. Yeah. It's just so great. Definitely. So this is just how it started. Also, I was really targeting on that. Mm. Have you been to Temple? I've never been to Temple before but someone has told me about it like yeah. I would you should really go to Temple I'm like yeah like the red lights I'm like yeah that's trippy man that's it's like trippy, trippy. Yeah. like all nice just like the, I can I can I can just imagine myself playing like the my music there yeah. people like just be going crazy I'm like so I talked to the guys there mm-hmm. they didn't give me a, a feedback yet yeah. so I don't know what happened Temple come through yeah. come through man. man so how important is music to you like when did when did it click to you that you were like music is exactly what i want to do for me i just woke up one day and just looked myself in the mirror and i was like damn i'm hey, pretty de- i just, I just <laughs> <laughs> okay i didn't say that i did say that <laughs> but i just told myself like let me just be an entertainer let yeah. me just entertain people i said i love music I like listen to music every single day. There's a mm. there's a playlist I just have to listen every yes. day to make my day. Yeah. And it's just something I live for. When you just listen to a certain type of song, you feel nice. What if I give you people yes. that music? You feel my vibe. Definitely. Get into my vibe, then we flow. You get in the culture. What top 3 festivals would you like to play at globally? Globally, I've been looking at Afdance. Yes. Afdance is like, you know, Kenya here. Tomorrowland. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I've also been dreaming of doing Tomorrowland. Mm. Yeah. Like big things. Uh I've also been wanting to work with Kenyan Knights though. I think we have an event in them on 27th of this month on the nice, Alchemist. May. Yeah. So uh, we're doing an event with them. So yeah. Mostly I'm targeting those big EDM guys. Nice. Yeah, who bring those guys from us. I like the so, yeah. So do you want to be known more as a DJ who plays trap music or a DJ who plays EDM music or what? What kind of DJ genre are you targeting to? I target mostly club house and like deep house and mostly trap. So whenever I'm coming to your event, I tell you like I have a two session set. I'll give you like I'll look first at the event, I'll give you like maybe I'll tell you I'll play club house and I'll play deep house. You see like Thrift Social, I do like club house and I do the new soul and the sub soul from around 2 p.m. Then it comes at now we go hard with the trap, you see? Cuz people you know like people you know yeah. yeah, people got to turn up, you mm-hmm. know. So I just bring it down with the trap. So it depends with the vibe of the people, you know. You just can be in trap people like you know, we listen to trap but it's not kind of vibe. So you got you got to check the crowd and stuff. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. What's the worst experience you've ever had as a DJ? Oh god, so many. What happened? A- apart the from, worst apart, one. <laughs> apart from not getting paid any time you didn't get paid. <laughs> oh, there's another time I was told there's an event in um Nakuru 
by some guy I just don't want to name his name but mm. anyway if he's watching this um, he he told me there's an event mm. a, like a house event mm. he told me pack my things you know we gotta go man she's gonna be on you we're gonna do this this and that yeah. okay, I'll be paid I even sent some documents you know, I was saying like this is legit <laughs> so was have, so legit shit. Got there was nothing at Nakuru it was just like plain grass site and you, you and this guy No, I was just oh, there. I was just told, I was just told, you just uh. go there. Just come to this this and this yeah, place. Yeah. The event is happening at this place. I went there and asked those guys at the place of that lodge. Yo, is there an event? No. What? Nothing happening here. Oh my I'm gosh. Like, oh, God. What do you mean there's nothing What? happening here? So you drove who were you with? I was with my pals, I was like two friends and uh my brother was the one who was driving the car. Oh my and I told me you don't tell me you came all the way from Nairobi yeah. to come and Oh There's nothing. I called the guy. He went off on me. I was oh. like, oh. I just had to go back home and just told my boy, just, just, just go back home. I was so wow. disappointed. Oh, you wow. don't work without a deposit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, it was the first time. It was the first time. So I was like, okay. I was getting new to the industry okay. and stuff. So yeah, now my, you know. Yeah, What my bro told me like you should have known first. Mm-hmm. Like, Asked for deposit. Yeah. But right now, no one can blame me right now. Let me tell you guys. Hey. Let's go. Let them know. Got an eye on so, you, man. With that being said, now that no one can play, you know, you know what you need to know, you know, to be a successful DJ in uh, Nairobi City. What would you tell uh, the upcoming, you know, Butch Norman or the early DJ in Butch Norman? Mm. What advice? What I'd say is DJing for me was, it was a struggle. It was a struggle for me. Mm. Being who I am, like... My mom even tells me by the way you've grown. I like I like used to do like some cheap cheap events like I was usually like ah, I'll just do it. Let me just do it. Mm-hmm. I can't give up exposure, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just someone will see me or I'll just meet someone who'll give you some exposure. Mm-hmm. I just need I told you just need exposure. Then go get it. I did my thing. I did my thing in there. I was down a couple of times, you know, like disappointed. Like I'm not getting what I want. I'm seeing other people doing what I want, but I'm like so disappointed. So what advice would you give the upcoming Butch Norman? The upcoming Butch Norman, what I give advice is do your thing. Just do your thing. Mm. Be you. If you want to do something, do it. But du- Just but be you. But double check if you get a call to go to Nakuru. <laughs> I will. Okay. I will. <laughs> what what do you what can we expect at the social this Sunday? What we expect in it? Camo edition is gonna be lit. Nice. Let me tell you that what I have prepared is Ooh. sick. It's just nice. sick. Ooh. I have a playlist that I keep playing over and over in my head. Huh. I just want to play it there. So if you come early, I'll have two sets. I'll have a house set and I'll have a trap set from 6 p.m. or towards the end of the show. Mm. That's where a lot of people will be coming in and stuff. But during the day, I'll be vibing to some house music, just chilling. Yeah. Nice guys. Fifth social this Sunday. This Ooh. Sunday catch Butch Norm. What are you wearing? Like, how do you wear cameo? Is cameo... Like, no, it's it camo. Camo. Oh, camo. Camo. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's camo, not cameo. All right. Yes. Talking police. Oh. Uh, how are you going to wear camo? Uh, well, that now it? that you've said it correctly, uh, <laughs> I'm going to get something, you know, special made, you know, tailor made, you know, but I could not do it. But, uh, you know, just wear some camo. Just anything camo. Camo, camo purse. With the... With the like, Ca- The I mean, that's, 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 there's only one kind of camel. The military. Yeah, so. sound like <laughs> I'm sorry, you're being stupid like today. <laughs> you are just getting your dumb Shut up, have a conversation about fashion, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Damn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bad to wait. <laughs> What do you wear? Yeah, I mean, next. Um, I'll see, I'll see. Next, man. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. What do you what, what cameo are you wearing? Well, now I gotta go find some. I don't think I have that. All right, well, don't buy no cameos. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy got my cameos ready, y'all. <laughs> don't do it. Mm. But what, can we, what kind of hairstyle can we expect, man? You know, there's a lot of hair watchers watching, man. Yeah, I actually get that a lot, by the way. Really? I really I believe it. I believe because I do too. Like, what do you do with your hair? What's this? What your product is? I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just tell you, just chill out first a bit. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put a bun. I'm just gonna do a bun like yours, but I'm just in the middle of the hair, mm. like here, because I'm gonna be sweating and stuff, so I don't want my hair, like, you know, to fall down and stuff. Because the last time we went at the denim edition, yeah, it was all it. over the place. All over the place. We were like, oh, God, low you're gonna key, break your head. Low key, you was whiplashing me with, like, splashes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh, Whipping you with my hair. I'm, like, I'm on the mic, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, let's tie it up this time. I mean, yeah, let's, yeah, it's like, let's just glad you that up. You yeah. know, it's idiot. It's true. It's true, man. Oh, Lou doesn't have that problem, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs>
I got my beard though. We're going to get to Olu during party calendar. Where can people follow you if they need to know what's going on with Butch Norman? You can follow me on uh, Facebook at Norman Alex, at Norman Alex, and Instagram at Butch Norman. Butch Norman. And my DJ name is Butch or Butch Norman. Lovely, man. Hey, you heard it here first. This is Butch Norman catching uh, DJing two sets at Thrift Social 11 Camo Edition, Cameo mm-hmm. Edition, if you know you special friends of mine. And uh, it's going to be incredible. So make sure you get your camo ready. Yes. It's going to be very, very lit. Appreciate you coming through, man. This is the first time we got to actually sit down and talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah rather last than you just, yeah, you're always working. Yeah. You're always Wait, working. Last one, where are you from? I'm from, uh, I live in Islands, by the way. Uh-huh. Yeah, Umoja. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the... Light skinness. Light skinness. Oh, you're asking about the light skinness. Oh, uh, it's origin about my is what we're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about. Just, uh, that way you live. Elaborate, elaborate. <laughs> I should have been like the hair. Yeah, okay. Um, my dad is British. Oh, I like mate. And my mom is Kikuyu. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, oh my God. I'm Kikuyu. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, I'm Kikuyu. I'm nice. Kikuyu. Yeah. Have you, did you ever live there or ever been there? I was there a couple of times, but I don't really like the place because my, da- my dad mm. lives in like a ranch. So oh, like, so the country. And like the country a, in Europe like bush, is different, man. Huh? Like yeah. Trees all over the place. You just like, and like you can socialize. And yeah. Like, man, this place sucks. <laughs> so cold and yeah. stuff. I'm like, you dad, you just stay there. Gotta go. Stay there. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I came, I came back so pale. It's like I got a Twilight movie. I was like, damn. Oh my God. Butch Norman, everybody. That's what's up. Butch thanks Norman. Thanks so much for coming you. through. Hey, thanks so hey, much, man. Y'all got to check out what happened at Bar for Bar. Last weekend, Bar for Bar is a rap battle. Lit. Ten rappers, one winner, 10,000 shillings on the line. Hosted by Barat Jacuzzi and Mixed Master Lenny. This is what happened at the Alchemist for Bar for Bar round five. Once again, Butch Norman. Woo. Coming yeah. up next, we have Party Calendar. Keep it locked to the Hump Show. Ra, ra, ra. Come on and show them what you can do. When you drop a mic, you drop it nicely. Hey, thanks for another one! There's no other round. There's no other people. This is it. My niggas got the block. All my niggas got the block. All my niggas got the block. Man, this nigga said this shit. Kill your niggas got some balls. Kill your niggas got some balls. Nigga, you ain't got no dick. You know that I'm flagging shit. You know that I'm like a shit. Roll up with a couple flick. You get me like you think I'm fake? I'm gonna let you know, nigga. Yeah, I'm a million. Now, why the fuck you looking like a fake Nigerian? Yo, Let even though it was dope, bro. Even though I lost, I think in Kenya it's all about the crowd, it's not about the flow. You got know I me? Mean? My name is Jameson, nigga. Hey, but my AKA Munyax, AKA Yax, the realest. Uh, I, I said I was going to take I'm this nigga's nigga. Congratulations, Kamakao, of course, for winning this shit. 
How was it, man? How's the battle? It was nice. It was nice. There's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of people like you know uh, coming out for it. But you know you, you gotta know what you gotta want. Yeah, but and rumor has it that you just came last minute, brother, and you decided to go on, man. How how did that happen? I lost my first round. I was a bit like, uh, but I was like, I got I gotta get it back up. You know, uh -huh. you, you don't fall until you're done. Was it, bro? So you gotta, and I see you have so many fans around here. You know, slap it up is a hobby. Kuna <laughs> What's next for you, man? I'll just try to get serious now, for real, for real. I can't have all these people behind my back, and I'm not really, like, doing something that's, like, worth it, you know? Uh -huh. So I gotta really, like, get him, and I gotta, like, show them that there's support. Really He's not coming like, for granted. You know, get in. Yeah. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed what you just saw. Rumor! Yeah. <laughs> You know, that was Bar for Bar round five. The winner of that was Moon Yox, man. It's always a movie every time it happens. Make sure you catch his next time, first yes. of next month at The Alchemist. Brad, I got a question Thursday. for you regarding Bar for Bar. What's the rumor? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Slim. Shout out to Charlie Slim, man. Yeah, Comic man. yeah that was Comic Call first. Um, no, Comic Call, yeah. Kang Kang. Now, um, so the, the person who wins the, the 10K yes. or whatever yes. is decided by the crowd, right? Yes. It's, and Lincoln mentioned at the beginning of the video that in Kenya, he's noticed it's not about the flow. It's more about the crowd. For example, mm -hmm. I have heard about the battle from Kisumu and I'm coming through and I don't have friends in Nairobi. I'm coming through for skill. Right? So because I don't have a crowd, I lose the battle. Even if I'm great, if, even if I'm good at it. Right? That's what you assume. Yeah. That is what you assume. No, let's say, I'm saying I mean, just hypothetically, because Lincoln said it, that doesn't make it factual. No, 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 no. I'm saying hypothetically. Hypothetically. Because I've been at Bar for Bar and I've noticed that the crowd is really what decides. Because even it's I told Lincoln, I told Lincoln, like, yo, you need to come through with your squad. But Lincoln is not from here. So he doesn't really have a squad like that. So I'm just saying, like, in, in, in a situation where that happens, is, is there any chance where there can be, like, a rematch, like, organized between the two parties that yeah. made it to the final round. Wait, wait, wait. No. Why, why, why should there be a rematch? Because no, I'm look, asking. you're a rapper. Your mm -hmm. work is to rap. Mm -hmm. Read the crowd. They may not be read your people. The read the fucking was, crowd. Was, Deliver was, your bars as per... Like, you, you, no, you, know, you, guys, you guys are really funny, man. Why you, 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 so you're trying to tell me that because I came with my crew, my rhymes are whack. <laughs> no. no, Because no. that's, that's how I'm getting this. No, no, no. At the last buffer bar that I was at, I told Lincoln, like, hands down, that that dude had you when it was guaco. Oh, okay. And I told him, like, yeah, that dude really had Buzz, because even I was listening to him and I was like, "Yo, this is this is sick." Right? I'll say this. Yeah. I'll say this. Now, there's a, there's a lot of talk that people say that you know, like you said, mm. if you don't come with a crowd, the the, the likeness of you winning bar for bar is slim to none. Mm. And then there's other cases where people who didn't come with a crowd still won bar for bar. Mm. So. It's it's a it's a game of chess, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like some people come with a crowd knowing that their bars aren't that good, so they you know they're just trying to up their chances in winning. And mm -hmm. especially for the last one where Lincoln was in the finals and he was against Munyax, who had a whole bunch of uh, who had a pretty solid crowd mm -hmm. in the building, it was neck and neck. Second round, it was neck and neck, mm -hmm. and then they went the final third round, and Munyax just took it. Mm -hmm. And it was it was like like what DJ Waba said, you know, it's it's a part of the game to read the crowd, figure out how you can sway them, how you mm. can woo them, mm. and win. You know, so, nah, it's all about... Lincoln is about to make a career as a battle rapper. Like, I bet bar for bar 10, Lincoln. Lincoln, nah, Lincoln, <laughs> Lincoln is Love to win Lincoln, it. You know, though. That was, I think that was his third time, because he's been to three. Yeah, he, he, the, five. Yeah, the first time he was like, nah, I'm good. Like, the first time, yeah, he, yeah. It, it didn't, it happened, but it's always been in the finals. You know, he yeah. always makes it to the finals, because yes. he's a great exactly. rapper. Yes. He's a great rapper, so yes. he can always, you know, Lincoln is always, it's easy for Lincoln to get to the finals, because that's just up to rap. Once mm. you get to the finals, it's about now... The, the emotional connection between yeah. you and the crowd mm. is about you know selling yourself as a brand to the crowd because I don't I don't pick the winner mix master Lenny it's yes. all about the people yes so yeah. exactly it's out of my hands mm. you know so you know but shout out to Lincoln you know he's a dope rapper he yeah. definitely got a great he's, I mean he's a great musician to be honest mm. that guy kills it and shout out to New York's the winner of Bar for Bar now yes. boom party calendar let's get to it ra, ra, ra. it's Nairobi Burger Festival oh my gosh the excitement ah. is it's so titillating. <laughs> I'm lit. It's exciting. No, Burger um, Fest is lit. 
So it starts okay. uh, the beginning of... Um, 8th of May 8th to of the 12th. Mm -hmm. yes. And around the city, our city of Nairobi turns into burger pop-up zones. Nice. So you just get to go to different uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My cheese. <laughs> you get to go to different... Keep doing that. You get to go to different uh, restaurants and then mm -hmm. you get two-for-one burgers and maybe My a beer. Cheese. So guys, subliminals, make sure to come to, to Burger Fest because you're going to get the... Munchies. Yes. Yeah, Munchies. and I'll be hosting uh, the Burger Fest launch uh, tomorrow with uh, Mama Rocks. They're hosting the event I mean, at the Alchemist. So nice. catch me emceeing and eating free burgers. Hello. Yeah, nice. and it's going to be great. So it's from 3 to 6. So make sure you guys pull up if you're available. Where at? Where at? Uh, at the Alchemist. Okay. Yeah, All free right. burgers. Free free Mama Rocks burgers? I'm not sure what if it's from Eat Out Kenya or Mama right. Rocks or whatever. But they are going to be it's gonna free be burgers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That are surrounded definitely. by definitely. And a lot of games. Yeah. And activities and nice. you know handsome hosts. So it's gonna be something to pull up to. Mm. Yes, and then tonight, every Wednesday, what are the what what is day with the Mojo Sound System? Boop, boop, boop. Guys, make sure to go through it. It's free 99. Those speakers are no joke. And it's happening at the Alchemist from 7 p.m. onward. Nice, nice, Lovely. nice, nice. And this Saturday, Calligraph will be performing Saturday. live for the Jones. first time with the band. And it's going to be at the Alchemist tickets at uh, 1,000. Oh, and uh, 1,500 at, at the, the gate. Yes, exactly. And he's going to be supported by C2K, Steph Capella, Timmy Blanco, um, 254 Linda. Is that song with Steph Capella? No. Oh, but Steph gonna, Capella oh, is going to be performing at the show as well. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. At and the Alchemist. On the same night, the very first grime rave in East Africa is going down. What? what? At the Gotha Institute, you get to enjoy DJ <laughs> Young Jockey. That is not grime. That is <laughs> okay, but I like it. DJ Young Jockey, DJ Waba, uh, DJ Lassa, DJ GI, a digital collaboration with the British Mandem, who are UK collab collective based in Toronto to promote nice. UK based music. And then in the middle of their set, there's going to be a live cypher with nice. John Christian, Obi, Kiwango, Teo, Marushka, Barak, Jacuzzi, Madani, Drama Queen. Nice. So, guys, you get to enjoy all of this and a live fashion installation for only 500 shillings at Gotha Institute. Ladies and nice. gentlemen, the very first Grand Rave in East Africa, EQ Black! Okay, I'm glad we made it on the EQ Black yeah, that was good. That's good. I saw it coming. Yeah. All right. Nice. Also, this Saturday, mm -hmm. um, during the day at the Four Points, there's going to be the Pulse Woo. Pool Party uh, for the cover girl. So if you if you're trying to uh, trying fist to your ass on easy, some, breezy, yes, breezy. if you're trying to get you a girl, if you're if you're trying to flaunt some of that, you know, what your mom what gave you, what you, what you, gonna you need to for? come through. Um, I'm going to be hosting the thing oh decently. Okay. Yes. Fully yeah. clothed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. So come through. Um, details, of course, you can check out uh, Pulse Kenya on Instagram. They have all the details about how you can get through the gate. Yes, people. Lovely. Yes. And at the day after that, of course, it's going to be Thrift Social <laughs> 11 Camo Edition at the Alchemist. Advanced tickets will be 800 and 1,000 only at the gate. And it's from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm. And you can catch the sounds provided by Teo, mm. L.I.A., Butch Norman, Ooh. and Marushka. Hey, those guys are like literally nonstop, eh? I like non -stop. it. Nonstop. I like it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Non -stop. Hot. And I'll be shooting a Tenna featuring Shopper. The official video will be Yay. Yeah, we'll nice, be it. guys. So you see, Things are going in Nairobi. Yeah. We got your back, you understand? Be there, be there, be there. Always. DJ yeah. Waba, where can we catch you? Oh, uh, yo, this Friday, Love and Direct, 10 to 12 p.m., mm. wgradio.fm. Yo, Thursday as well, um, 12 to 1 p.m., The Booth Baby, yo. Yes. And The Hum Show, of course, The Hum Show. Yes. Shang Talk on Monday, yo, up everywhere, everywhere, man. Kong. <laughs> working, we working. Hey. Kamakawa. Where can we fi find you, Shirley Hero? You can follow me at Shirley Hero, spelled S-H-I-R-O-L-E-H-E-R-O, -E -E across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Snapchat, because why the hell not? You can catch me at EQ Black. I will be hosting. Mm. Nice. I can't wait to see you. All right, so you can catch me on Homeboys Radio, HBR 1035, hbr.co.ke. It's Saturday night, 7 to 9 p.m. The show with the South Hip Hop Culture alongside DJ Final Cut. And, of course, you can uh, check me out throughout my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just Ruby V. Just is in the handle. Yeah. And, um, yes, let's let's communicate. Lovely, lovely. Man, you can catch me in the streets. <laughs> I'm in the streets, man. But you, we in the streets. Man. Well, you know what I'm saying? Or the hair punch. Because you know, you never know when you need to go get that hair did. But I'm in the streets, man. With the man bun. Okay. With the man bun. Go in the streets.
song today. This is the Hump Show, episode 16, season four. I had a great time. Yes. Find me guys. in the streets. Yeah. You guys, catch us next week, every Wednesday, 3 p.m. In the streets. This is the Hump Show. You can catch us. Yeah. The streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Catch us. We in the streets.